Welcome everyone, my name is Dr. Hedria from Harley Street Dermal and today we're doing the nose reshaping treatment. Just with a view to softly lifting the tip and just straightening the hump and lifting up the dent in the bridge here. So we've got our client already disinfected, cleaned and everything ready to go. And you can see there's a slight gap in indentation in this area here, a little bit of a bump in the bridge here and the, the nose, of, the tip of the nose is a little bit pointing downwards. So again, just try and lift everything up very subtly. So I think lots of people have different ways of doing the nose and it's really important to emphasize that there are some important safety considerations to take when we're doing the nose reshaping. Most importantly, um, it's using the right type of filler and injecting in the midline to avoid where the uh, lateral and dorsal lasal arteries are. But also not overfilling the nose and keeping it really subtle. Sometimes it needs to be done in stages, but I think this is this is one of those types of noses that's likely to need only one stage and one session doing. So often I tend to start with the bridge, so you can kind of see the alignment of the bridge here. We've got a soft dent here. So we can do a couple of perpendicular injections just to lift out the bridge. It's a small pinch, bigger. And people will be surprised actually it's really not as painful as, as one might suspect. And I use both fingers to clasp around just to squeeze to prevent the products from leaking either side. We'll do another injection just a little bit below. I mean, they talk about, some people talk about aspirating, which, which I personally do, but a lot of the literature actually says aspirating doesn't actually make a massive difference. It's more important to check the capillary refill, so checking the blood supply by pressing the skin around the nose and making sure that it still stays pink and healthy. That's a much more reliable indicator to prevent uh, complications like vascular occlusion, which a lot of people are reading about online. So lots of molding, really important in terms of positioning the filler in the right place. Okay, we're going to lift the tip a tiny bit as well. So we just go from underneath into the tip. This bit stings a little bit, so it's worth warning. So, sorry about this, Rashawn, the small sharp. There we go, well done. Fantastic. So it's important you can see the tip of the needle here, just projecting slightly. Very small quantities, like 0 0.05, very small amount, just to kind of give the tip a little bit of that lift without overfilling the tissues in this area. It's important to remind the patients to breathe through their mouth during this step. There you go, well done. Great. It's always worth just assessing and taking stock by looking from the side as you're going along. Brilliant. We're going to just lift the angle of the nose very slightly because the angle of the nose here at the base is already lifted but I'm just going to soften it slightly. So we're going to do a very small pinch in this area, squeezing the columella area, just small sharp, only going in a millimeter or two. You don't need to go in too deep. And only small quantities like 0 0.1 would be helpful in this area. Sometimes it's worth molding the filler to reshape. So sometimes we angle the needle a little bit. If we want to add a little bit more volume in this area, Sometimes I don't want to do too many perpendicular injections because it can widen the bridge of the nose and give you that avatar look. So sometimes we'll inject parallel with the skin by bending the, the needle and going along the skin like that. So what we do is just pinch the skin up a little bit, reposition, small sharp. There we go. That's pretty much all there is to it. So we can see now it's there's a little bit of swelling, not too much actually, a couple of small dabs of blood, but we've managed, managed to straighten the bridge. Sometimes we don't want the bridge to be dead straight because it can make the bridge of the nose look, look um, quite full, like a Roman helmet type look. And if you make it very straight as well, that's quite masculine, whereas the feminine look is to have a little bit of some sort of a slope curve. So you just want to keep it looking as subtle as possible, and that's all there is to the nose, really. And it's also worth checking the capillary refills, so checking the blood supply, pressing ideally for at least three seconds, ideally five, and then releasing to see the blood supply coming back, especially to the tip of the nose as well. And everything looks great. So thank you so much.